And from the 69 kilogram welterweight division for women, where 17 athletes comprise that bracket. And other than that, we have action in the quarterfinal stages of the men's lightweight, men's heavyweight, and men's super heavyweight divisions. And quite simply, for all of the contestants involved, well, a victory means that particularly if amongst the bigger boys, then a victory will take them through to Tokyo 2020. So stakes incredibly high. My name's Ronald McIntosh. I'll be your lead commentator for this 12th session of boxing here in Ring A. And alongside us, as ever, to provide co-commentary and expert analysis is Alex Arthur. And Alex, the standard incredibly high, but just put into context, this bout, given the disappointment the two boxers faced yesterday, they've got to raise themselves now for another opportunity to get to Tokyo. Yeah, well, it must be a very difficult position for these girls to be in right now. But again, Ronald, as we, as we spoke about earlier, the Olympic place is and the only thing that will be on both girls' minds right now is qualifying for that spot in Tokyo. So it's a really arduous road through to Tokyo 2020 for the losing quarter finalists. The winning quarter finalists progress through to the final four and they have guaranteed themselves a place in Tokyo 2020. But for the boxers who lost, well, only five will progress from this weight division and so they have to win another two contests. So a very difficult task indeed. There is Annie Hovsepian of Armenia. Her opponent is Sadat Dalgatova of Russia. The tournament number four seed, ninth ranked boxer in the world comes in here as the 2019 reigning world championship bronze medalist. She was involved in a nip and tuck affair yesterday, just being pipped on a split decision, and my goodness, this woman here, Annie Hovsepian, she is one tough individual, plenty of skill as well. She withstood some terrific shot selection. That Buzanas Sermonelli, the tournament number one seed, was able to score the world ranked number one and reigning world champion as well. But she came through it, and in the second and third rounds, Alex, she made that a really competitive tussle. It was such a good bout, really, really impressive bout, and so was Dalgatova's. You know, very, very close bouts that were both involved in as well. So this bout should turn out to be an absolute beauty. So Dalgatova lost on a 3-2 split to Anna Lysenko of Ukraine. It was a hard contest, very close on the scorecard on that 3-2 split as we see five judges around the boxing ring from Algeria, Indonesia, the Korean Republic, Iran and Guatemala. They'll be the observers scoring this one. So after the direct passage of qualification appeared to be cut off yesterday after losing in the quarterfinals. These two boxers now find themselves on a more circuitous possible route through to Tokyo 2020. This, the first of two box-off contests that the eventual fifth Olympian from the welterweight division will have to prevail in. It's between boxers from Armenia and Russia and a taller boxer in red who just like yesterday has been put on the end of straight punches to begin the contest is Ani Hovsepian, 23 years of age, experienced operator from world championships having competed in the last two editions in 28 and 2019, the more compact figure wearing blue who's demonstrating good head movement and just looking to score with straight punches while up on her toes is Sadat Dalgatova, the reigning world championship bronze medalist from the world champion Ulunude. Beautiful reverse one two, piercing the guard of the woman in red, then a good shot downstairs after she was countered by Hovsepian with a straight right. This has started off very, very well. Both girls trying to establish dominance, but Dalgatova has been that little bit sharper, although Hovsepian, as she always seems to be, is on the front foot, employing pressure tactics. And Dalgova has taken the role of counter-puncher quite quickly here. Using the space of the ring is Dalgatova. Despite being the shorter boxer, she's put on the end of a solid left jab there, and it really did jolt her head backwards. But she looking to use that straight shot of her own. 
But Hosepian, as is her want, continuing to walk her opponent down. And as the contest progresses, Alex, she's demonstrated that she's able to get closer and closer and draw her opponent into the type of contest and the type of territory that she prefers. Yeah, she's physically very, very strong as well. Like we've seen in her last contest, she does not really like to go backwards. She likes to press the action and throw combinations. And it almost seemed in her last contest, Ronald, that she got stronger as the contest went on. And that was despite absorbing plenty of accurate punches from the world number one, Busanaz Sermonelli, but she kept on coming. But look at the punch picking from Dalgatova on that back foot, using angles, using the space of the ring. She's put on the end of a two-shot combination there, but got the better of it by firing off four straight shots of her own. Yep, she's attacking back very well. Not just using the feet to run off and try and stay out of harm's way, but coming back with their own sharp cross counter punches as well. Three and four, five punches at a time. Hovsepian, if you had to pick faults in her makeup, you would probably say she doesn't move her head enough. She's got her head's very, very static. So she's pretty easy to tag, but that doesn't bother her too much. Very good round of boxing, both athletes enjoying success for my money i happen to think it's the woman in blue who will have shaded the round but what will say the five scoring judges after three minutes of boxing see some repeats here both girls having their success you favored the girl in blue though on thought she maybe just done enough to nip the round and there is confirmation, all five observers preferring the work of the tournament number four seed, Sadat Dalgatova, taking the first round unanimously. So into the second round then, the woman wearing red conceded the opening round across the board. But as Alex has already pointed out, as she lands a spearing left jab, which again disrupts the movement of the woman in blue. And look at how quickly, comparatively, Hofsepian has come out, quickening her feet, closing the distance with more intent. And she is the heavier puncher as well. And she's looking to make those qualities tell in the first 30 seconds of this second round. Nice quick start from Hovsepian. But Delgatova has fallen back into her, her role here quite quickly, Ronald, of moving in sharp straight shots. Only settling her feet down when she has to punch before getting back on the move again. And tactically, it's quite smart. Hovsepian, could you feel box in a phone boot? She just doesn't really mind where the bout has taken place in terms of ring positioning she'd prefer that you stood right in front of her that's for sure oh that's a good, good right hand there. landed by Hovsepian but Dalgatova continuing to enjoy her successes as well Dalgatova keeping the movement going keeping her wits about her finding herself in a corner but working her way out with a little bit of phys physicality pushing her opponent off will she be able to keep this movement going in the face of this incessant pressure being applied by Hovsepian she's doing a terrific job of it so far good right hand to the body landed by the woman in blue then double right hand sec success upstairs went for a left right to follow it up but was just off the mark Yep, she's actually switching southpaw on occasion as she leaves the corner after being trapped by Hovsepian. She punches from the southpaw stance. Well, Hovsepian enjoyed a period of success, but Dalgatova worked her way off the ropes with a terrific volley of straight punches. Just breathing through an open mouth now as she takes another solid right hand. 
Hovsepian, the bigger athlete, the bigger boxer, continuing to press against her more compact opponent. And she's hit by a solid single again, is the tournament number four seed. But bravely bites down on her gum shield and battles back. They exchange punches. But now Hovsepian's heavy leather beginning to take an effect because she doubled her over to the body and jolted her head back with a single right hand. Look at the expression on the face of Dalgatova, breathing through an open mouth. But remember, the winner remains in contention for Tokyo 2020. The stakes incredibly high. Oh. Good right hand again by Hovsepian. And now, just as we suggested, Dalgatova being drawn into a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange. This she is definitely not what she wants, Ron. She wants to be moving and boxing and keeping it long and straight. But Hovsepian does not give her that option. Ooh, that's a good left-right combination to the body right on the bell. And it just causes Dalgatova to adjust her protective cup before taking her seat in the blue corner. What a round. My goodness. She did a terrific job, Dalgatova, of moving and boxing and using angles. But as the round progressed, Hovsepian began to make her presence felt even more. Yeah, she surely did. She kept the pressure on her consistently as well. She never gave Dalgatova much room at all. And as you can see there, jolting her head back with those and straight right hands, Ron. There's well, the scores. She's taking it for judges two and three. So for judges one, four and five, it's a 20 point to 18 lead, a two round lead for the woman in blue. She needs a massive final round now, does Hovsepian. Really, she's got to put her opponent in trouble. We've already said a standing count won't necessarily result in a 10-8 round, but she has got to be dominant to overturn the two point margin of advantage that this woman has for three of the five scoring judges. That certainly will not be an easy task. So the action resumes in this first of two box-offs that are required for the fifth Olympian to make it through as Hovsepian makes scores with a good left hand to the body. Dalgatova being put under pressure. She's hit by a jolting right cross. Left hand to the body, right hand downstairs as well. And Hovsepian has come out with serious intent to begin this third and final round. Well, she wants that Olympic spot, Ron. So she has to do what she has to do. And that is try and get Dalgatova out of there. Oh, Sepian, to her credit, has found some energy, as all great champions do, up on her toes, resuming the angles and the movement that served her so well for the first round and a half. But here comes Hovsepian once again, looking to get leverage into her shots as she spears out a left-right combination. Here, surely, Hovsepian's got to be should working be, away. Should be, yeah, she because should. the clock is her foe. It is the friend of Dalgatova. Certainly is. She should be working to the body there, letting her hands go. And look at the determination demonstrable from Delgatova, despite the fatigue she's feeling, bearing that gum shield and letting her hands go in combination fashion. Still, Hovsepian pressing, trying to get into her own punching range. But this is a terrific display of commitment and indeed courage being produced by the tournament number four seed, Sadat Delgatova. Hovsepian oh. going to the body with a great left uppercut to the solar plexus there. And that will slow down the movement for sure. Sunk that shot in just above the belt line. Dalgatova continuing to be perpetual motion. She takes a hard left hand from the woman in red. Same Whoa. shot once again, but she responds with a right hand as the boxers lean on one another on the inside. And the busier boxer is the woman in blue. Oh, what a right hand. It positively swiveled Dalgatova. And then Hovsepian came around with a left hook as well. Straight right hand forces Dalgatova backwards. She's moving from one set of strands to the other, trying to maintain the gap between herself and her opponent. This is going to be one long minute for Dalgatova, Ronald. Certainly is. And if Hovsepian can maintain that pressure and stay on the front foot, she needs to let those body shots go. And if she can do that, she's going to make it a very, very long minute indeed for Dalgatova. Caution for pushing there. Well, in many respects, even though Dalgatova is her own athlete and a different competitor to her, the, the woman yesterday, Sermonelli, in many respects, it's a carbon copy in the way that Hovsepian started and the way she has come on strong deep into the contest. Olympic boxing over three rounds, you get the impression that she'd be a 15-round fighter, the way she likes to press and get stronger in the contest. Yes, very well said, Ronald. That is exactly the style that Hovsepian has. 
You do get the feeling that she could do this all day long. What a terrific contest once again, but give credit to Sadat Dalgatova because she withstood the rally, the inevitable rally that Ani Hovsepian launched in the third and final round. Dalgatova overcame moments of inconvenience where she was hit with some big punches to both head and body from both flanks, kept her composure, kept her wits about her, and has seen this one over the line. Well, an another tough contest as well for the women in blue. Yesterday it was tough enough, but again involved in another barnstormer of a contest. So let's get the official announcement. We think Dalgatova will be going through to the second box off. Here's the verdict. The winner on points by straight decision. In the blue corner, representing... And there is confirmation. Sarat Dalgatova remains in contention for Tokyo 2020. A split decision points victor over Armenia's Ani Hovsepian, who for the second consecutive day just continued to go through the gears as the contest progressed. But just like yesterday, her start was too slow. Immense disappointment for her. Her qualification efforts for Tokyo come to an end here in the first box off. Sarat Dalgatova remains in contention. She's got one more box off to win. But Hovsepian, she is some boxer. Unbelievably good. And when you see the quality of girls like Hovsepian, to think that she's not going to Tokyo seems unbelievable, really. Fantastic, fantastic competitor. Dalgatova did a terrific job managing her resources, demonstrating her conditioning and toughness, and that is how she did it, taking it on a 4-1 split. Judge Three two. scorecards of 28-29, that's how close that contest was. Hosepian, her road to Tokyo comes to an end here. Dalgatova goes through where she requires one more win in another box-off.